eliminate uterine fibroids before pregnancy with alternative medicine methods. If you want to have children but are already diagnosed with fibroids, a natural question occurs how to eliminate uterine fibroids before the pregnancy. Pregnancy with fibroids will in some cases end up happily, but it is risky and prone to many problems, such as bleeding or calcified fibroids. Large uterine fibroids will make it downright impossible to get pregnant because the fertilized egg will not be able to implant itself into the lining of the uterus and thus officially start the pregnancy. If the fibroid is not large, the egg may implant itself successfully and then it is a matter of chance whether the pregnancy will be full term or not, depending on the interplay of the growing fetus and the fibroid, one or more of them. Apart from the mechanical problems, the deeper problems may be the hormonal one, because there is a reason the fibroid started to grow. Most often, it is too much of estrogen that is being produced together with the excessive reactivity of estrogen receptors inside the uterus. If hormones are the problem, the pregnancy will end up uh, abruptly, sooner or later, because if there is more estrogen as compared to progesterone, the lining of the uterus will grow and will fall off. It may happen anywhere and anytime while the woman is sleeping or is doing ordinary house chores or when going out to do the groceries. At least 3000 people have personally consulted with me in my capacity as a professional astrologer so far, but I still vividly remember a marital couple that came to see me whether they could have more pregnancies and finally children. On Monday, then went to the gynecologist. She was in the end of the third month of the pregnancy, had everything checked out and everything was okay. Two days later, she woke, she woke up in a bed full of blood. The pregnancy was no more without any sign of warning. So, how to treat uterine fibroids before the pregnancy? This is the purpose of the post that I made at my blog howtoavoidhysterectomy.com How to avoid hysterectomy written with dashes in between. Please visit the site in order to see uh, the links to uh, various uh, and numerous methods of eliminating uterine fibroids with homeopathy, with herbal mixture, with uh, sujok, with enzymes, and so on, and so on. Finally, what to do if you have recently lost your baby and there were fibroids in the uterus? If <coughs> that is the unfortunate case, uh, you can, or you should, take um, the rescue remedy from the Bach flower remedies uh, group also. There is a more specific combination for that case, and that is Star of Bethlehem, Gorse, Walnut, Pine, Willow, Sweet Chestnut, and Cherry Plum. You should take that combination for at least two or three months in a row, for at least four hours a day. If <coughs> you would be trying to conceive again, the following combination of batch flower remedies would come handy. Impatience, Star of Bethlehem, Gentian, Gorse, Vervain, and White Chestnut. You should do well to ask uh, for a specific practitioner, be it a professional herbalist, homeopath, a batch flower remedy practitioner. From me, through a medical astrology reading, you can gain a glimpse of how the general energy trends will apply to your particular case. Flower remedies for instance, are usually prescribed for three months in a row, and the general wisdom says to stop after the three months. But if Uranus, the planet of speed and impatience, uh, makes hard aspects to a sun or moon for the entire next year, then you should be taking impatience, one of the batch flower remedies, for that entire year instead of for only three months. If you're interested in why medical astrology works, you can go uh, to a page on the site which is called Spiritual Dimensions of Medical Astrology. I wish you all the best. My name is Dushka Savic. 
are uh, probably pronounced in um, in English Duskasevic. Uh, the blog is uh, how to avoid hysterectomy with uh, written with dashes in between. How to avoid hysterectomy dot com. Please visit and comment and ask for help. Uh, you're always welcome.